Since we started using polywire on the farm, there are lots of things I like about it. It's easy to work with and everything, but I'm always wondering about when we have to connect two ends of it together. I never know exactly the right way to do it. And I've often wondered, are we getting electrical current through all of the wires that are within the poly rope? So today, I'm gonna to show you how to put it together and make sure that you never wonder again whether you're getting electrical current through all of those wires or not. Hopefully this is going to work like we have it planned. So far so good. Are we going to have enough to make the first round? And I hope so. We're running the second wire just like the first one. Now we're going to join these two pieces of wire. So we're going to show you how to do this connection. So you have three braids in this rope of uh, poly roping. So we're going to unwind those. And then around each of those ropings, we have two sets of wires. So there's one set. Got it out of the way. And then there's one around the black wire. This takes a minute. To do that, All right, so there's the other two wires, actual wires that do the electrifying, and then lastly, we have two in this last yellow one. So there, so there's one set. the third set. So now what we have is all three of those, all six of those wires that the electricity runs through in the poly wire together. We're going to roll them up and then we're going to cut this remaining string off. I don't have the best cutters for those today. All right, so now we have something that looks like that. So we'll get to the other side. We'll do that again, and then I'll show you how we're going to connect. All right, so you can see now I've done the other side just like the last one that I showed you on video. We got just the wire here, just the wire here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to put those two wires together now that is a lot of work some people just run it you know around each other uh, inside run the rope around each other and I I've done that too I don't know if it's better or worse or what but we're wanting to make sure this fence is super hot and we're not missing any of the electrical current so we've put those two wires together now I want to tie these two wires so that there's no pull at all on the connection we made. All right, so now all the pull is in the wire, none with a connection. So that is the way that you're supposed to connect poly wire together, just like that. And we can come back and add some uh, electrical tape over that to kind of just secure that a little bit and we'll be good with it. 
Thank you for watching our video today. I hope that seeing how to join two ends of a uh, poly wire so that you get all the electrical conduction that is necessary for your fence to work. I hope that you got some understanding on how to put this poly wire together correctly. I hope that it'll be helpful for you when you come to those ends and need to splice that together. We also thank you for watching. Hope that you'll go down, like, and subscribe to our channel. As you can see, Midnight and Marley are both doing well. They're settling in good in a new pasture with a new electric fence that we've put up. Thank you for watching. And as always, we'll do it all again tomorrow.